Home has always been important, but right now, during this COVID season, home is especially important because home is not only the center of, well, home life, but also, at least for many, it's the center of educational life, for some work life, and, well, almost every form of recreation right now is centered out of the home. That's why it's vitally important for our homes to be great places. And that's also why, as a church, during the season, resourcing homes is our number one priority. And that's why I wanted to share something with you today that, is, well, it's been helpful to me. Now, uh, my wife, Anita, and I, we've been married 25 years. We have a college-age daughter and a high school-age daughter. And I remember when we first became parents, I mean, it was just an incredibly overwhelming thing. Like, kids, they don't come with instruction manuals, so you don't totally know what to do. And you really quickly kind of discover that you're in way over your head. And uh, at least as a parent, I've, I, I often wondered, what's the most important thing for me to be doing? Like, what's my number one role as a parent? As a dad, do I need to, is it about fixing stuff? Is it about setting the rules? Is it about doing good discipline? I mean, what is the most important thing? That's why this was helpful for me to know. As a parent, our number one role, our number one responsibility is to set the tone of the home. Set the tone of the home. What do you want home to be like? What do you want it to feel like? Do you want it to be gracious and kind and welcoming and forgiving? Well, if it is, you set that tone. That's why it's important that we're self-reflective enough to ask questions like, am I being kind? Am I being forgiving? Am I being gracious? Am I, uh, am I making this an inviting place? Am I being welcoming? And as we identify areas in our life where maybe there's barriers to that, where we, we have a hard time with things, we get triggered by stuff, is that we, we deal with those things. We get the help that we need, whether that's from friends or from church or from counselors or things like that, to, to deal with some of those things so that, as parents, we set the tone of the home. I hope that's helpful to you. Uh, and if you like tips like this um, on a regular basis, make certain to like and subscribe just so you can stay in the information loop. Know that we are rooting for you as we seek to love like Jesus in our homes, in our valley, and in our world. God bless you.